This video is brought to you by thepuzzler.com. Imagine that you take a 20 question multiple choice test with choices A, B, C, and D, and you guess A for all of your answers. What is your expected score? Expected value can be used to solve this problem. Expected value is exactly what you might think it means intuitively. The return you can expect for some kind of action, like how many questions you might get right if you just guessed on a multiple choice test. Expected value uses probability to tell us what outcomes to expect in the long run. Coming back to the problem earlier, we can expect to get 5 of the problems correct. Here is the math behind this. The probability p of getting a question right if we guess is 0.25. The number of questions on the test, which is represented by n, is 20. Multiplying these two numbers, p times n, which is equal to 0.25 times 20, we get 5 questions correct. In general, to find the expected value, also denoted as e of x of an event, where only two outcomes are possible, for example, right or wrong, we get that e of x is equal to the probability of x occurring in any given trial times the number of trials that occur, which is represented by n. This is also known as a binomial random variable. Let's look at an example. What is the expected number of heads we will get if we flip a fair coin 10 times? Pause the video for more time. Here, the probability of flipping a head is equal to 1 half, and since we are flipping the coin 10 times, n is equal to 10. Applying our formula that we just learned, we get that 1 half times 10 is equal to 10 divided by 2, which is equal to 5, so we can expect to get 5 heads if we flip a coin 10 times. Of course, calculating expected value gets more complicated in real life. There are usually multiple events that we have to consider. The formula for calculating the expected value where there are multiple probabilities is e of x is equal to the sum of the probability of xi occurring times the gain or loss that we get from the event xi. So here, EV is the expected value, the probability of XI occurring is the probability of the event, and XI represents the loss slash gain from each event. Let's look at an example. When you roll a die, you will be paid $1 for an odd number. Find the expected value of money you get for one roll of the die. Pause the video for more time. Here's the probability distribution of a die. Our roll could be anything, and the probability of getting that roll would still stay the same, 1 sixth. But the amount changes. From every odd number, we get a $1 gain, and on an even number, we get no gain or loss. As shown here, we can apply our formula and get 1 half, or 50 cents, as our average return when we roll the die. Let's look at another problem. Bill Gates is considering a business investment. The investment has a 30% chance that his anticipated return would be $9,000, a 45% chance that his anticipated return would be $15,000, and a 25% chance that his anticipated returns would be $30,000. What is his expected return? Pause the video for more time. Here's a table for this investment. A loss of $9,000 happens with a 0.3 probability. A gain of $15,000 happens with a 0.45 probability. And a gain of $30,000 happens with a 0.25 probability. The expected value of this occurring is equal to, applying our formula from before, 0.3 times negative 9,000 
plus 0.45 times 15,000 plus 0.25 times 30,000. When we simplify this, we get an expected gain of $11,550. Discrete and continuous random variables. A discrete random variable has a countable number of possible values. The probability of each value of a discrete random variable is between 0 and 1, and the sum of all the probabilities is equal to 1. A continuous random variable takes on all the values in some interval of numbers. Calculating continuous random variables is out of the scope of this video and are, are not that common. Discrete random variables are like multiple events. Here is a discrete random variable question. X is a discrete random variable. The graph below defines a probability distribution for X. What is the expected value of X? Let's first make a table. X is equal to 0 with a probability of 0.35. X is equal to 1 with a probability of 0.35 and x is equal to 2 with a probability of 0.15, and x is equal to 3 with a probability of 0.15. Now, we can easily multiply each value by its probability. The expected value of x is just the sum of all of these, so we get 0 plus 0.35 plus 0.3 plus 0.45, which gives us the expected value of 1.1. And now, for the giveaway. To enter the giveaway to win a free Wolfram Alpha Notebook Edition, subscribe to The Puzzler, comment down below the answer to any one of the problems presented at the end of the video, and join our mailing list using the list in the description. Note that this is optional and this will increase your chances of winning. Winners will be announced at thepuzzler.com slash giveaway winners. Here are some problems for you to solve on your own. Remember, to enter the giveaway, you just need to write the answer to one of the problems in the comments below. Number 1. If a fair six-sided die is rolled, what is the expected value of the number rolled? Number 2. If you flip a fair coin 20 times, how many tails can you expect to get? Number 3. Bill Gates is considering a business investment. The investment has a 20% chance that his anticipated return would be negative $9,000 and the 80% chance that his anticipated return would be $15,000. What is his expected return? Thank you for watching this video. If you liked or enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe so you can get notifications for my future videos and be sure to hit that like button. See you in the next video.